You guys are just in time to watch us unveil the top three. Who jumped from the dais to the metal stand? Wow. I don't even know. And you'll find out with me right when... Well, does now work for you? Because I would like to know now. Is it... Okay, good. Okay, great. Well, okay, so at number three, if you're one of those kooky 9-11 deniers, you're actually not gonna enjoy this insanely dark, super funny set by Pete Davidson. Sorry, Aunt Sheila, who I blocked on Facebook. You're missing out. It's an honor to be at a roast hosted by Shaq's dick. <laughs> Justin, you know, I lost my dad on 9-11, and I always regretted growing up without a dad. Until I met your dad, Justin. <laughs> Now I'm glad mine's dead. There's a reason this clip is in the top five, and it's because Pete's brutal honesty and lending his experiences to these jokes, I mean, wow. Pete is good for like making you sad about his dad dying, but then coming with a great curveball right after. It's like, oh shit, that's hilarious. What's up, Ludacris? What's up, man? You might know Ludacris from your mom's That's What I Call Music CD. That's a dig. You'd never want to be on those mixes. It's like, if you made it on one of those, like, what's happening year in review mixes, it's probably not a good next year coming. That's funny until I look in the mirror as a 42-year-old man, and I go, wait a minute, fuck you, Pete Davidson. Ludacris is a legend, and I was very happy that he was in the building and doing well and looking very healthy and has good skin. At number two, she's pulled a million perfectly brown turkeys out of a million ovens. Can you talk to them? <laughs> so of course she's good at roasting. She's not the barefoot Contessa, y'all. She's the barefoot in your ass Contessa. Run to the China Hutch and break out the good silverware for everyone's favorite wine drunk ex con, Martha Stewart. Let's get to the reason I'm here tonight, which is to give Justin Bieber some tips to use when he inevitably ends up in prison. <laughs> I've been in lockup and you wouldn't last a week, so pay attention. The first thing you'll need is a shank. I made mine out of a pintail comb and a pack of gum. <laughs> I'll show you how later. It's so simple. I found Bubblicious works best, and it's so much fun to say. You see, when I did my stretch, all the hood rats on my cell block wanted to break off a piece of Martha Stewart's ass, so I decided some bitch needed to get got. Those words are definitely out of bounds for her, but she read them with a comfortability that made me believe she might have done 30% of what she was talking about. I walk into the chow hall, picked out the biggest bull dyke, and I stuck her. From then on, prison was easier than making blueberry scones. <laughs> and Shaq, I hope your mom doesn't still hold a grudge. Eating these boys alive. Like, this woman is ruthless, she's tough, not afraid. That is just brilliant. The writing is, is amazing, how it made it sound like just like she was doing one of her shows. Who knew that Martha could be such a little assassin on the day as Martha was bang, bang, pow! Well, here we are. Who has got the number one spot in the Hall of Flame? I don't even know. Let's see. All right, the number one roast moment is... Me. I didn't know it was gonna be me. I really did it. This is so nice. What's the, I'm kind of shocked. That's, I, they really didn't tell me this. Just go, uh, go to it. That's so nice. Will and Grace was really the best you could do. It just... <laughs> just Jack. Just Jack is, uh, it's also what I'm gonna do in my hotel room alone after sitting next to Blake Griffin all night. Jesus Christ. You're so hot, what the fuck? You're so hot. I'd fuck you in front of my grandparents. I, that's how, I almost want to, you know? I feel like Mimi would be proud. 
Oh man, Blake Griffin is so hot. It makes me want to learn about football. Okay, first of all, one thing about Nikki Glazer is she's not wrong about how hot Blake Griffin is. I would let Blake Griffin run me over with a fucking snowplow. It does feel a little bit unfair that he's like so hot, so rich already, and he wants to do comedy. Like, it, just pick a lane. Like, you can't have everything in this life. It's not fair. Blake, you look like a black guy that got made by a printer running out of ink. That's... <laughs> That's accurate. He likes skin. He know he a red ball. That joke is just so creative. You see the printer running out of ink. That's why comics are the best at roast, especially like the, the younger comics, because they're hungry, they know this is a big deal. You know, you put uh, Hasselhoff or Blake Griffin on there, they're like, look, I, I got a zillion dollars. They don't need it, we need it. That's why I'm doing this. I'm in my fucking pajamas right now. Uh, I got no shoes on. And I'm hung over in my apartment doing a Zoom show. We need it. Usually when a white woman fucks up an NBA player shit like that, uh, it's a mistress. That was crisp. Not a stall, not a not a hankering in her throat. She came for everybody, everybody's crown. And she also threw a pussy out there. 